moving day always takes so much longer than you think. By the time you get groceries and run any other errands and do all the dumping and filling and getting gas and all the things, like it's 4.45 now. The sun is gonna be going down before we even get to our spot for tonight. I'm blinded by the light. You too, man. <laughs> We're doing dirty jobs right now. Mike Rowe would be proud of us. <laughs> Dumping the sewage. How's it going, guys? It smells like sewage. It's going downhill. <laughs> yeah. Dumping the gray water is literally way worse than changing the compost and toilet. Like, <laughs> this is grosser. This smells so much worse. The compost and toilet smell like dirt. And this, it's like, there's urine yeah, and I guess sink so. water. And that's it. And it is horrendous. Fortunate enough to be able to do that to it. Oh, God, it reeks. It's so, so bad. bad. <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate it. See you later. All right, we're all done with our dumping and our filling up with clean water. Hey, we got a new subscriber. Oh, cool. Were you guys chatting it up out yeah, here? Yeah, he was asking about the bus. Cool. How you doing, man? Thank you. We'll be driving down the road and somebody will be honking at us and, and I think maybe the bus is on fire and, the, and I look over and they're like, I'm right? like, oh good, the bus isn't on fire. <laughs> right. It's, it's still really cool when they do that. <laughs> it just kind of catches me off guard. Thanks. Sure. Great helper. And then Mike decides he's not sure if he put the gas cap back on or not. I did. Oh, good job. I just needed to know. Well, the sun has gone down. It's now a race to try to get to our campsite before dark. I don't think we're going to make it. Get the guy installed all those gigantic lights up there. Continue on South Fort Grant Road. So pretty right here. Yeah. Well, we're losing daylight fast, but we're almost there. Well, I should say something like no overnight camping. <laughs> that would be just our luck at this point. No parking. I don't think we can go any further. Yeah, this looks like it. Up there, we're gonna have to disconnect too. <laughs> this time we disconnect the towed car before backing up. It's a beautiful morning at our new location, our new glamping spot. <laughs> That's right. Except we're like parked at an angle, it's all catty. It's like a fun house in there. <laughs> I don't know. We can't see you, babe. Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> Oh, I missed it. I missed the drone going up. Oh no, there is people there. We're doing some recon on the other campsites with the drone right now. <laughs> so there are other people camped at one of them? So right here. So there's people right there. And then, but the whole area back here, it looks like that area is pretty wide open if we wanted to go over there. I don't know. Cool. Looks cool. You're a good little drone. Just doing all this work for us. Didn't even have to get off my butt very much. <laughs> Didn't have to hike or anything. We're just going to go hiking with the drone later. <laughs> <laughs> We 
we're still at the same location in the Stockton Pass area, but we're going for a day excursion to a place called Grant Falls. Is it Fort Grant Falls or just Grant Falls? I don't remember what he called it, but I, you know, I can't find any reference to it either. I think it's Fort Grant Falls because there's Fort Grant at the base of the mountain and then you can find this obscure hiking trail that not that many people know about up to Grant Falls. Fort Grant Falls? Grant Falls? Yeah. We'll let you know which one is right. I think it's called right. the Swift Trail. No, Swift Trail is on the other side of the mountain. Oh, yeah? This mountain. is Grant Trail. Grant Trail. Yeah. So maybe it's just Grant Falls then. Okay. Hmm. We'll find out. Here we are. Forest Road 157. Well, it's mostly tire tracks. We're driving through the creek bed at this point. I don't see any waters. Not a drop of water. I wonder if there will be any water when we get up higher. Definitely won't be bringing a bus on this road. <laughs> Does this mean we, oh, it's, it's just a cattle gate. You're on it. The rule about gates when you're out in the country is that you leave them how you found them. You find it closed, you leave it closed. You find it open, you leave it open. There we go. Oh, ha ha, funny guy, funny guy. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> Oh, very funny. <laughs> Ready to go? All the way. There's the pink ribbon that marks the start of the trail. Yep, We're on is, the right path. This is actually a really important landmark right here because this was what was relayed to us by the, the, uh, the husband and wife that uh, stopped by our bus the other morning. And uh, they said go to the pink ribbon. So it's kind of important if you guys end up over here. So far, we're just walking up this mostly dry creek bed. We were afraid there would be a trail like through the desert first before we got to the mountainous part, but we just got to start right out in the creek bed, which is much nicer for hiking. It's nice and shady and breezy and cool. I and brush. there's a little bit of water. I'm not, going swimming. Not much so far, but I'm hoping there's going to be more upstream. Go oh, ahead and strip this? down, buddy. Okay. Shh. Quiet on the set. Attention anglers, and look, it's Grant Creek, not Fort Grant Creek. Fort Grant is probably the fort that's named after Grant Creek. Duh, I should have thought of that. that but apparently some people come here for fishing. I like to fish. There's a reason they put a road here. For us to walk on? That was it's so nice road. of them. They were thinking of us all those years ago. That's bear pee. You think? Yep. Look at the berries. There's definitely berries in it, and that's a big size hole. Woo! Man, look at the size of that. Yeah, look what so. we found. Somebody's getting water from Grant Creek. I don't know what, what do you call this when uh, somebody's getting water like this? Dammed up and <laughs> I'm sure there's a name for it, but I don't know what that name would be. I wonder if it goes to Fort Grant. I've never like experienced like walking on a trail and coming across like bear poo and been like but then we just watched like I shouldn't be alive the other day where these people were eaten by bears. And one of them was a black bear. <laughs> and that's what's here. But they're particularly small in this area. But still, I don't ever want to be bear poop. <laughs> We've passed how many piles of bear poop now? Two? Two, I think. This one sounds completely different than the last one. <laughs> I 
have to tell you, I think I'm a little bit out of shape. We're barely a half mile into this walk and I'm tired of going uphill. I'm out of breath. How much longer? <laughs> um, it's just around the next turn, baby. It's supposed to be two and a half miles. You read it somewhere, yeah, right? I did. Um, it was the guy that, uh, those people that stopped by. He said it was about two and a half miles? Yeah, but I, I'm fairly certain it was a guesstimate. Just wanted to point out real quick that uh, when they refer to crossing a stream, they call it fording a stream, not chevying a stream. So just a little side note there, a bit of trivia. Team Ford. Team Ford. Hashtag Ford. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the freshwater side. Here's the murky water side. Look at this crazy orange funk in the water down here. Ew, it's so grody, huh? I'm tired. Almost there. You don't know that. I can feel it. You guys, Mike just spotted turkey on the trail. There's a whole bunch, like five, six. I've seen five or six. Gobble, 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 gobble. Oh, yeah, you guys don't even know how lucky you are. Thanksgiving is like a week away. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, eight, nine, ten. There was like ten or eleven of them. We could have fed the pilgrims. Hi, guys. Run for it. Run, Forrest, run! Well, I can't exactly show you the way it smells right now, but there has definitely been a skunk in the area. Yeah, I'm fairly Woo! It doesn't smell like skunk anymore. It's like stronger than It's bad. Range. It's beautiful here, though. Oh, it sure is. We're still following the pink ribbon trail markers. Maybe eventually we'll actually get to the falls. Although I'm beginning to wonder. The mythical falls. Yes. The often mentioned but yet never seen. No pictures on Google Maps. Or right? Anything. Look at this water. It's more of that orange colored moss funky stuff. So interesting. This water is strangely the same color as the leaves that are falling into it. Like, I wonder if that's what's turning it this color. Okay, you guys. I reached a point where I was like, babe, I don't know if I'm going to be able to go on. Like, I want to. The will is there. But my body is giving out on me. Like, we rested for a few minutes, and then when we got up and started walking again, I was just tripping and stumbling all over the place. Like, my legs and my feet are so tired. I just can't even walk right anymore. So I told Mike to go up ahead without me and see if he could get to a vantage point where maybe he might be able to see it. And I told him I would just come along slowly behind him. And he's up there hollering at me right now that he found it, that he got there. So I'm trying to catch up. Hopefully I'm on the right trail. Where is it? Oh, yeah. I don't see nothing yet. Oh, it is there. Yay, we finally made it to Grant Falls. The stuff of legends. I've only heard about this place my whole life. Way over there. Let's get all the way up to it. All right. It's so funny that the point 
the point where I was like on the verge of giving up was literally right around the bend from the falls. <laughs> I'm all, you go on without me. You know, you have come so far um, in the last five years. I know. And I am not going to push the massive effort you put into this hike today. <laughs> a solid two miles of uphill climbing. Yeah, that was a solid uphill. My PTSD symptoms were so bad five years ago, there's no way I would have been outside in the outdoors with the breeze on my ears or anything like that. There's no way this would have happened. Even three years ago, I was still too sick. It's really only been this past year that I've gotten a lot better. Look at the size of that pine tree you are leaning on. That was a tilt. This thing is enormous for where we live. Yeah. Oh my gosh. There's another one right there. Good golly, Miss Molly. There's no way I could even reach my arms around this thing. Let's see if I can see my other arm around the other side. Can you see me over here? Tree hugger. This is just so pretty. Thank you. I just took a shower for you, so you better enjoy it. <laughs> Found the wrong pipe, of course. I said drink it, not inhale it. So I was trying to get the full experience. <laughs> Apparently, it's already been aerated, babe. Woo, I had a shower. You sure did. I, sure I want to drink it is. Oh. I want a real drink. I was uh, breathing it the first time. <laughs> Yeah, put on your white t-shirt. <laughs> oh, very funny. So this is snow uh, runoff from just up the hill, guys. So uh, don't stress too much. Uh, not a huge chance of Jardia or some kind of dysentery in this water. And then it just got aerated for 150 feet, so. And UV light. And UV. <laughs> <laughs> Time to go. Okay. Say goodbye to Grant Falls. We're on our way back to the bus. Guys, we just realized today that a slight disaster has befallen us. Well, not really a disaster, but we've been recording for the last couple of days and the battery was dead in our microphone the whole time. So there's no audio in anything that we've been doing, which means that you missed me telling my whole story when I got home from the emergency room after our hike. And it was really sad too because we cooked dinner and showed you what we were cooking which was really like this quick and easy but delicious. uncannily delicious meal that we made that night and then um, within a few hours of having soup and I had this headache coming on the whole time while we were making soup and filming it and everything but I didn't really think anything of it because that's not that uncommon for me but then I started throwing up 
and then I kept throwing up and kept throwing up. Like in during during my third round of throwing up, I finally woke up Mike, who had gone to bed early that night because he got no sleep at all the night before at work. So I had to, I felt so bad. I had to wake him up. And I'm not a person who would normally go to the doctor, let alone an emergency room for anything. Like I have to be dying to do that. But Mike and I both, our minds jumped to the same thing when I was throwing up. We both thought, oh my God, the water that I drank out of the waterfall <laughs> had to be it. We thought I had some horrible parasite or something because somebody poisoned the water hole. <laughs> <laughs> but we found out at the emergency room, they, the doctor let us know that it would take like a longer, like an incubation period for there to be a parasite taking effect. Two to three effect. days. Yeah, two to three days. So um, she recognized my symptoms as being um, the symptoms of dehydration, like, which is bizarre because I drink more water than anybody I know, you guys. It's ridiculous that I would be dehydrated. But she said, it's not just about your water, it's about your salts and electrolytes and all that stuff. So anyway, um, you know, that was no big deal. They did blood work and um, gave me an IV. And the worst part of the whole emergency room visit was that they had to swab my nose for flu and for COVID. COVID. So um, they did both nostrils two times and it was so ridiculously uncomfortable. I can't even describe to you unless this has already happened to you how uncomfortable it is. It was bad. That was the worst part of the whole visit. After they gave me Zofran and an IV bag, I was feeling pretty good. Yeah, huh? like a couple hours later, you were fine. Yeah. So anyway, <clears throat> so we're coming out for a big adventure here. So now we're doing something a little less strenuous today, a little easier. We're doing some geocaching because there was a couple of things around our area right where we're camped. Right. Not right where we're camped, but a short drive away. First location was a strikeout. Strike. We found nothing. So we'll see, we'll try our luck at the next spot. Yeah. Okay. All right, we'll try our luck at this spot. 0.2 miles. If you live in a city, you've probably never seen a gate like this. It's a gate that people can go through, but cattle cannot. Watch out for that. Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> that is a jumping cactus, my friends. Now, they don't actually jump, but if you get close enough to one, it seems like they do. Dang, baby, you're getting all tactical and stuff. Where? Where are you? Over here. Found it? Found it. Come back, come back uh, this way. There's actually, no behind that tree right there. yeah, I think I can go right here. You got to do a little searching, but Yeah, this there. one was definitely a search. There Sneak it is, there. hidden in the rock. Yeah. Wow. <sighs> Ready? What's it gonna be? Oh, stuffs. Oh, there's a pen in there. Oh, good. A pencil. So there's a little uh, pen, a walking pen, and this rhino. Mm -hmm. Cute beetle. And that's a Boy Scout Fleur de Lis patch, or it's scouting crest. Keychains. And oh, look. Father is like a hand. Dad, I love you. That's Aww, cute. That's nice. And a little whale or a seal. A seal with a ball on its head. All right. So we got to mark our little thing here. Bussy. Bus face. We should have brought a sticker to put in it. I know. We didn't. We suck at this. Totally I was putting a hundred dollar bill in there, I guess. Just kidding, I'm not gonna do that. Because <laughs> you don't have one. Somebody's gonna <laughs> I don't have one book. Alright. Mm, okay. This was a 
little challenging to find. Good All right, one. we're gonna get a badge or something from geocaching.com <laughs> for being such good finders. How You'd you, like homes? to think that, wouldn't you? Look at how pretty this manzanita is over here. It's so vivid red. Oh, that's a good one. I know, wow, it's really pretty. We are actually getting a little bit of exercise doing this geocaching. That was a little bit farther than I thought we had walked to get back to the car. Yeah, that was a good trail. <clears throat> yeah, this is fun and good for us. That's right. We need to do this. As long as I don't get dehydrated and end up in the hospital again. Looking, looking forward to that. Oh my gosh. I'm never going to live this down. <laughs> little Tupperware jobs? Uh huh, to make our the own screw geocache. On, make our own geocache. Okay. I think that would be excellent. Probably not here though, because there's too many locations here. Yeah, a lot, of, but I would like to do some back at Indian Bread Rock. Maybe at sure. our next location. Yeah. The Bussy McBus face cash. Yeah. That's <laughs> her collar going on. She just immediately rolls in the dirt every time we let her outside. It's so funny. Okay. Oh, I got to make sure this is in the open position so she can come back in. <laughs> you guys are not going to believe what Mike is doing now. He's up looking for firewood. No, I don't mean out looking for firewood. I mean up looking for firewood with the drone. <laughs> I found it. Did you really? Yeah, look, there's a tree right here. It has a bunch of branches down on it. You're, sp you're supposed to be out hiking to um, burn calories and <laughs> get in shape and you're using Don't the drone. <laughs> Lazy fly. man's firewood. <laughs> We're going to fly right back, so, so it's over there. All right, let's go get some firewood. That's the hiking part. Yeah, the cool thing is, is that we're using the super quiet king saw, so even if this place was full, people would be like, I wonder what that is. You know, Probably yeah. they won't hear our chainsaw over our generator. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. here's some kindling. There's some, there's a hole. Down oh, the you're right. Oh, yeah. This is gonna be awesome. Yeah, because of firewood. Really. The fact that I can talk over the chainsaw is amazing. I know, and I can hear you. He man over here is carrying 900 pounds of wood at once. With only one arm. <laughs> Other arm's just there for show. Looks <laughs> like it'll all be like this. Still winning from the walk, man. I know you didn't even catch your breath before you started this. Right? Dang! Just not going through this furly thing. That is some solid hard wood. Ooh, My goodness! Life like this isn't easier. Life like this is harder, but like more fulfilling. The payoffs are greater. Yeah, like without work tonight, we get to stay warm for probably a couple of days. Well, and the thing is, is that we're keeping our entire bus warm for free. Yeah. Absolutely 100% free. There's no energy bill on this. This is free dead wood we found on the ground. And with a little bit of your labor, now we get to heat our whole bus for days with a small pile of wood. Yeah. How cool is that? That is really cool. Well, that's about it for today, you guys. We're calling it a night, and we'll see you in the morning.